On today's episode of Will It Fit, it's time to throw some briskets on TMG Volunteer. We think it'll hold between 10, maybe 12 briskets. So we got the first five seasoned, a few more trend. We're gonna throw them on and we'll show you what we're gonna do. Let's do it. Okay guys, so don't think we actually to come out and took a video right when we put these on earlier today. Uh, reason for that was we got busy. I think we had an 18 wheeler here with about 40,000 pounds of steel on it. We had to unload and then it's been a madhouse. It's actually the day before Thanksgiving, so it's just been crazy. But uh, these have been on for about eight hours. We're gonna show you what we, what we have figured out, what we've done. We did get 11 on here, okay? And so of these, the one right next to the firebox, probably should have rotated it out because um, it's pretty close to being done. The bottom rack definitely is getting done quicker than the top. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the first one off, obviously it being done, uh, it needs to come off. Um, I'm debating if I'm gonna rotate top and bottom, not sure yet, I'm gonna think about that for a few minutes then decide. Um, maybe full bolt some of these over here, We'll see. Today's experiment, experiment was to see how many we could get on there. Uh, we did get 11. Unfortunately, this guy right here, he met the uh, brace we have right there. So that's not that great. I, I should have slid him back a little bit and made it to where he could clear. Um, obviously, like this one sitting here and it cleared it. Um, but I got a little dimple mark there. So the beauty mark. Beauty mark, part of it. Uh, but yeah, so the bottom's definitely getting done a little bit quicker uh, than what the top is. And obviously right here, you got one brisket right here that is is already done. Um, I think these are probably about an hour behind. These were 17 point, what was it, 92 pounds a piece before trim. After trim, they ran about 12 to 13, 13 and a half pounds. Um, so they were pretty decent sized briskets here. Um, so that's what's going on. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this one, then we'll go from there. Okay guys, so we're back. Um, we've let this one rest for about an hour or so. Um, usually we go longer, but for the video's sake that we're going to be at Thanksgiving dinner tomorrow, we're gonna slice this up. This is the one that was next to the firebox. Um, so far we've had a few more come off that we've given to employees and let them go home for the day because it is getting later into Wednesday, the night before uh, Thanksgiving. So we'll slice in and uh, we'll see how it looks. Okay, so Hayes, not sure if you can see this, but uh, there she is. Still pretty juicy, even though it was in the hot spot of the smoker. Um, don't really want to squeeze it. I'll slice a little bit more right here, and we'll try it right here in a second. Looks like the fat re rendered pretty well there. We don't squeeze so, bricks around here. We try not to. Um, oh yeah, that's gonna look good. So uh, let's do it. See what happens. Oh, there What's we the go. thing in the middle? Yeah, for y'all. He is always pretty good. Every time. It does it look good? Does it look good? Yeah, it tastes good too. Sounds good. Okay, well, let's, let's try it. Try a piece. You want a piece? Hey, he's. Yeah, here, grab me a piece. I'll get this double stack right here. Or no. Oh, well. Oh, oh gum. Fell over, it's too greasy. That's good. Too juicy. Oh, give them some oh, yeah. ASMR has chew next to the camera. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. well, pretty good. It's dripping. Okay guys, we're back. Uh, we've been on the smoker for another hour or two. We've taken off, I think, uh, four or five briskets now. Uh, as our employees have been getting done today, they've been taking them home with them. That's kind of the idea. Like I said, it is Thanksgiving and uh, we got these done. So these did start off as like 17, 18 pound briskets, trimmed down to 12 to 13, 14 pounds. Uh, did end up getting 11 on the smoker. The one right next to the firebox did get a little hot, but besides that, pretty good day. Um, once I pulled the one next to the firebox, I did rotate top and bottom. Um, I was very curious to see if the drippings from the top affected the ones on the bottom. Um, and to date so far, they have not. Um, so that was kind of interesting to really see. Um, now the ones that we did, once they rotate them off the top, they did start getting quite a good, uh, good bark on them. But uh, this is, I honestly don't remember where this one came off of, like since we did rotate them um, after that last shot we did. So uh, we're gonna slice into it, see what it looks like, see what it tastes like, um, and see if the volunteer really can cook. 11 briskets at once. You know what it looks like to me? What's that? Top shelf barbecue. You think this one's top shelf? Yeah, I bet it came off the top, buddy. I don't it know. Might have been on the bottom. I but don't. I finished up on top, buddy. 
I don't know. That's a good question. Like I said, I don't really know where this one was on the smoker, so uh, we'll slice a few and see what, how it comes out right here. Well, looks pretty good. Look at all this juice is flowing out. I mean, it's hard to beat that. Since fat did render really well. Y'all want a piece in here? If you guys that are in here? Seven you got you got to be careful with that. That sometimes kills that camera. Really? You ate seven or eight hot dogs today. Is that I had like seven or three slices of brisket? The, the glizzy gladiator. Here you go. Of brisket, right? Four pieces of turkey. There you go. Is it classic? The classic. It's pretty, pretty good. good. What is what is he doing? <laughs> I missed that. Jeez. Really Here. Oh, really, you're wasting you're wasting brisket. I got one. Jeez. So awesome. Question number one. Okay. So you were able to successfully cook eleven briskets on a volunteer, correct? Correct. Okay. Damn, that was good. How often do you actually need to cook eleven briskets on your backyard smoker? Me personally. Okay. Sorry. Uh, me personally. Once okay. for today. So you wouldn't do it every day, would you? I personally wouldn't do it every day, but then again, I don't cater. So if you use it, if you need to do it every day, you could. You, oh, you absolutely could. I would suggest rotating, probably a little bit more than I did. Uh, so that one right next to the firebox, I mean, it did get hot. But I guess if there's just a little bit of air out there, that's not bad. Um, I probably would have rotated a little bit sooner to the top and bottom. Um, but as far as the brisket come out, well, came out great. That one. It still tasted good. Oh, it did. Oh, yeah. yeah, I mean, the, 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 the first brisket we did, we did cut into it, and it still did taste good. Um, and honestly, it's still just as juicy. The, the, the flat was a little dry on it, um, so I would say that was kind of a negative. But for the most part... Squeeze that. You no, know, we don't, we don't squeeze we don't, We're not squeezing brisket. Squeeze. Um, but yeah, no, it's not every day that you got to do 11 briskets. Obviously, from time to time you do, you're going to throw a party. I mean, 11 briskets would feed, would feed a lot of people. Um, so... Uh, Maybe 11 racks of ribs, but it'll obviously do a lot more than that. Um, but overall, like I said, good cook. If, if it was just one or two on there, obviously you could spend more time and concentrate just on those one or two. Um, but, and obviously today, guys, again, we do this while we're working. So we're here working and running around. I think today, like I said, we had a, a steel truck pulling with 40,000 pounds still on it. Um, we had propane tanks to unload off a trailer. Uh, trailer shipping out to what? Where'd you go, Virginia, Virginia today? Um, and so all day long, I don't think, we had two forklifts that ran all day. I don't think they ever cut off. Um, so a lot went on today on top of smoking this, which makes it difficult when you can't concentrate just on this. But overall, uh, great cook um, for the episode of Will It Fit? 11 will fit. Shout out to Joseph. Sh shout out, oh, Joseph. That's just a smoker out there. I did forget that earlier. Um, got busy. That's just the smoker. So uh, thank you so much for letting us use it. It's shipping down to Texas now. Has some really cool chrome wheels. Have we done the video on it yet? No, we got to do a walk around. Yeah, we'll, we'll do a rock, walk around on it probably tomorrow. Yeah, shipping down on Monday, so we're gonna do it tomorrow. Walk around on Thanksgiving. Uh, I'm tired. <laughs> Friday. I, I'm tired, guys. I'm tired. Uh, Friday, and then honestly, since we give it, we have given all of our employees briskets, I'm curious to see what they say after they get to rest overnight. Um, so if that's the case, then maybe we have a little Q&A with them about how they thought it turned out after they went home to their families and were able to, to eat them. We even have Alex here, you know. We'll, good. we'll see I what may, he can I do. I may film tomorrow and may get some... You can film may, tomorrow, may, yeah. I may question, you know family and see what they think yeah you know, get, get some cool. honest reviews on it um but really today was to see how many we could fit see if it was possible to cook on top and bottom um i thought it was a little weird that i didn't think it was weird the top cooked slower you know and so it's one reason i didn't rotate i really wanted to see how the top and bottom would do so um maybe rotate next time but i think overall it's hard to argue with the results there and that's uh that's delicious so let's do it